everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Cherry Blossom Shawl, which you can see a little bit of here in front of you as well. If you head on over to richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find some more photos of this shawl there as well. The Cherry Blossom Shawl is worked in the Winter Glow Solid Yarn by Hobby Yarn. I have some here in front of you. You're going to need two colors. And uh, this is a worsted weight yarn. It runs a little bit more on the lighter side for a worsted weight yarn. Uh, so with it, you're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. Again, I'm using uh, two balls of each color and each of these balls has approximately 382 yards. In it. So I would also like to take a moment to thank Hobby Yarn for uh, providing yarn support for this beautiful shawl that we are going to be making today. So you'll need four balls in two colors of that Winter Glow Solid Yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook as well as the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. There's di direct links to that post uh, down in the description of this video. The finished size of this shawl is approximately 16 inches wide uh, by about 56 inches and I'll give you some instruction on how to adjust the length of your shawl if you would like. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and uh, we'll get started. While you're here say hello down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with uh, free crochet patterns such as this one and stitch tutorials. Our shawl today is a rectangular shaped shawl. Uh, now because it's a repetitive pattern I'm only going to show you how to work a swatch of it just so you can get an idea of how to work it. So if you need more fuller instructions again head on over to uh, my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So the pattern is worked in rows lengthwise. You're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working your foundation chain. Now for the shawl to the dimensions I have, you're going to chain 282 chains. If you would like to change the size of your shawl, which I'm going to do here today, you'll need a multiple of four stitches plus two. So today, just to work the swatch, I'm only going to chain 26 stitches to work the full size you'll want to chain 282. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, once again, single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you can chain three and turn your work. At the end of your row two, you're chaining three and turning your work. We're now going to start working some of our cherry blossoms. So we're going to begin row three by working a beginning cluster. Your beginning cluster, you're going to chain three. And now working back into the top of your turning chain, so it's the third chain of this now chain of six, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that turning chain, yarn over, drop a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that once more into the same chain yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your beginning cluster. 
You're then going to work a cluster stitch. You're going to skip the stitch at the base of your turning chain, so that first stitch. Skip the next stitch, and then into your next stitch you're going to work a full cluster stitch. To work your cluster stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and you're going to do that two more times, so for a total of three. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and you're going to do that one more time, into the same stitch, yarn over, and draw through all four loops on your hook. Next, you're going to work another beginning cluster, this time back into the top of that cluster stitch. So chain three, yarn over, insert your hook into the base of that chain three, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that one more time into that same space at the top of your cluster stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Now down on your single crochet row, skip the next three stitches and work a cluster stitch into the next stitch. Next, work a beginning cluster. We're now into our repeat, so we're going to work a beginning cluster working back into the top of that full cluster down below. Skip the next three single crochet stitches and work a cluster into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across the length of your shawl until you have two stitches remaining. When you come all the way across and you have two stitches remaining, you're ending off with a beginning cluster worked into the top of your previous cluster. And you're simply going to skip the next single crochet and double crochet into that final stitch. Chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to complete the tops of our cherry blossoms by simply into the top of our first cluster stitch, work one cluster, chain three, and work another cluster stitch into the top of the next cluster. So you're skipping your beginning cluster in between and you're just working a cluster stitch uh, into the center, really, of each of these blossoms as you go. So work a cluster, chain three, cluster into the top of your next stitch. I'm going to keep going because I'm almost at the end of my swatch. I have one left here. When you come to your end, chain one and then double crochet into uh, the top of your turning chain. So you're just double crocheting into the top of the turning chain, chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of that first stitch, then single crochet into your chain one space, and single crochet into the top of your cluster stitch. You're then going to work three single crochets into the next chain three space, 
and single crochet into the top of your next cluster. Repeat that all the way across. One single crochet into each of the next, uh, into the chain three space, and single crochet into the top of your cluster. When you come all the way across at the end of row five, you're going to single crochet in the top of that final cluster, then single crochet into the chain space, and then work one more single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. Then chain one and turn your work. For row six, we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across and when you come to your final stitch you're going to switch over to your color B and as I come across here I will show you uh, exactly how I like to change color uh, in a project so I'm just going to continue working all the way across I have a few stitches left. When you are changing color, as you come to your final stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch, uh, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You can then drop that color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook and pull through. If you'd like to join with a slip knot, you can do that as well. It's really up to you. You're then all set to continue working with your color B. So you can chain one and turn your work. Now, just to kind of secure these ends, I'm going to work over top of them just a little bit before I trim them off. Sometimes I'll carry my colors up the side, but for this design, I do found, find that it looks best when you trim off and weave in your ends after each color. So for row eight, you're going to, using your new color, and this is rows, oh, sorry, row seven and eight, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. So you're going to work two rows of single crochet stitches into your in your color B. At the end of each row, chain one and turn your work. At the end of your row eight, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now, just as you did down below for your rows uh, three and four, we're going to work our cherry blossom stitches, this time working in our color B. So we're going to start with the beginning cluster, chain three, and then back into the start, or the top of that turning chain, you insert your hook, uh, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, insert into the same space, yarn over, drop a loop, complete your beginning cluster. Skip the next stitch down below and work a cluster stitch into the next stitch. Then work another beginning cluster, this time working into uh, the center of the cluster stitch down below. Chain three, Oh, sorry, skip the next three and then repeat cluster stitch. Followed by a beginning cluster. Skip the next three and repeat. Repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches. At the end of row nine, you're going to simply skip the next stitch, double crochet into that final stitch. 
chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to complete our blossom stitches by working a cluster stitch into the top of each cluster all the way across. So we're going to work a cluster stitch, chain three, jump to the next cluster, and work a cluster stitch into the top of the next. Repeat that all the way across, chain three, and cluster stitch. I'm going to keep working here because this row goes fairly quickly. Just like so, all the way across until you come to your final blossom. Work your final cluster stitch, and then chain one, and work a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. You can then chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a couple rows of single crochet stitches beginning uh, with row 11 with a single crochet into that first stitch, single crochet into the chain one space, single crochet into the top of your cluster, and then work three single crochet stitches into the next chain three space. You're going to repeat all the way across single crochet into the next cluster stitch and three single crochets into your next chain three space. When you come all the way across, single crochet into that chain space, and then single crochet into the third chain of your starting chain, chain one, and turn your work. You're now going to single crochet for row 12 in that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to switch back to your color A and then from here on end, you're going to repeat. So you're going to repeat your rows 2 through to 12 three more times and then you're going to repeat rows 2 through to 6 once more. So uh, you'll have, let me just pull up my full one here. You're going to work until you have 1, 2, 3, 4 stripes of your color B and 5 stripes in total of your color A. You're going to finish off on that row 6 and then meet me back here for the edging. Once you have completed all of your repeats, and again, you're gonna have a shawl similar to this one, you're going to have four stripes of your color B and five stripes of your color A. You're then going to work edging on the two shorter edges or the rough edges of your shawl. So here's my swatch. So it's going to be along the two shorter edges on each side. So what you're going to do is with your right side facing, join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top corner. You're then going to evenly work uh, 81 single crochet stitches across the side. Now if you have changed the width of your shawl, uh, so made, uh, worked more or less rows, you're going to want to adjust this first row of single crochet stitches and you're going to need a multiple of eight stitches plus one. So today I'm going to chain, uh, single crochet 25 stitches along this rough side. Now 
Now there's not necessarily any pretty places to put your hook. You're just working where it's comfortable. If it helps, uh, I would mark the middle stitch and have half of your stitches on one side, half of your stitches on the other. So this is seven, that's eight. Fourteen. And 25. So you'll want them fairly even along the edge of your shawl. A uh, total of 81 again if you need to adjust just a multiple of 8 stitches plus 1. You're then going to chain 1 and turn your work. Row 2 of your edging, single crochet into the first stitch and skip the next 3 stitches. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three puff stitches and two chain threes. So you're going to begin with a puff stitch. To work the puff stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that a total of three times, all into the same stitch. Once you've done it three times, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain three and work another puff stitch into the same stitch. Chain three and once again work another puff stitch into the same stitch. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three into the next stitch. Work one puff stitch. Chain three. Puff stitch. Chain three and another puff stitch into that same stitch. Skip the next three stitches and single crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, skip the next three stitches, single crochet into that final stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. You have one last row for your edging. You're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch. Then work three single crochets into the next chain three space. You're then going to work a pico. To work the pico stitch, you're going to chain three and then slip stitch back into the base of that chain three. Some people like to slip stitch into the first chain of that chain three. I actually like to do it right into the single crochet at the base. I find it just makes a tighter stitch. So slip stitch back into that stitch and that's your pico stitch. You're then going to skip the next puff stitch, work three single crochets into the chain three space skip the puff stitch and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch then repeat three single crochets into the next chain three space work one pico stitch three single crochets into the next chain three space and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. 
to the end. Three single crochets. You're skipping the puff stitches. When you come to the end, single crochet into that final stitch. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, repeat for the other side, and if you feel necessary, you're going to block your shawl, and then it is all complete. So that's, as, that's it for working the cherry blossom shawl. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, say hello in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.